Today we're going to talk about hammers. I have a lot of hammers. I have 16 ounce hammers. I have 20 ounce hammers. I have 22 ounce frigging hammers. I have ball peen hammers. I have little hammers that came with kits. I have tack hammers. I have rubber mallets. More rubber mallets. I have blacksmith hammers. I have mini sledge, speed, mallet. I have wooden mallets. And I have my all purpose hammer. Most of these have nowhere to go. So today we will build a holder for most of my hammers. Before starting the project, I need to get my shop back in order. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been working on some basement projects that involve bringing some toolboxes into the house. And between work and other commitments, I had not had time to put everything away yet. But I've been making an effort since the beginning of quarantine to make sure that my shop is always kept clean and therefore functional. So I wanted to make sure I started this project with a mostly tidy shop. I'll be doing a shop tour in the next few days, so make sure to keep on the lookout for that. Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bassador Woodworking. I've put the hammers that have places to live in the wood shop away, so now we're left with these ones to make a holder for. Um, I have some scrap wood here that hopefully will be enough to do everything I need to do. Um, the main things we need to do are find a space on the wall where these can all live and then make just a rudimentary frame that all of these can sit in. I don't really have a plan going into this, so we'll just kind of wing it and see how everything comes out. Okay, so change of plans. So I think I'm gonna mount it right on here. This gives me 30 inches, which will give me enough for all of my hammers and give me some room so when I buy some more hammers, because this is still a few I need, that I will be able to fit it. So it'll be 30 inches long and I'll make it about six inches out. And I measured the biggest gap I need for a handle is four inches, so I'll just put a little bit of an offset and then two rods across and then all my hammers will slot right in. I like drew a quick sketch just so that I can remember. But that's it, so let's try it out. Here I am cutting the boards down using my radial arm saw. I have a stop block set to 30 inches so once I square the end of the board I am able to make a repeatable cut to make the front, back, and inner rail. I came back later and trimmed one inch off the center rail to make it fit within a dado. Using the measuring tape on my fence, I make two 6 inch cuts for the sides. Quick note, I sh had to shorten these because they were too long. This thing would have been 31 and a quarter instead of 30. Okay, now I'm gonna use my radio arm saw set up with a dado stack to cut a dado in the side pieces to hold the middle rail.
this. The dry fit on this looks really good. I think it might be easiest to put it all together on the rack, on the bench itself. So I'm gonna do all the sanding and finishing that needs to happen before. <laughs> sanded as much as you need to be. Um, first I will mount the sides onto the back plate, then I will mount the back plate onto the bench. Okay, now I need to mount the back plate onto the side of the bench. I'm not gonna put any glue on the bench because I'm not sure whether I wanna keep this here forever or whether I will find a different place for it. Um, this, if anything, is just kind of a temporary solution until I can think of something better. So I'm just gonna drive three, uh, look, between three and five screws out um, through this into the um, bench. It'll be more than strong enough to hold the hammer. So we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so now we just gotta hook the front on and then I can slide the middle piece in. It would be just as easy to put the middle piece in now. Um, so why don't I do that actually? Okay, so that's mounted. Now we just gotta put some glue on the front, mount the front piece on. And then I'm just gonna hit this with a light layer of um, either water-based polyurethane or some um, spray lacquer. And that will be all it needs. It's gonna live out here. While waiting for the spray lacquer to dry, I cleaned up my mess and put away tools. And that's it. Um, all told, took about 30 minutes to make. Is it pretty? Not really, um, unless you're really into that brutal aesthetic. But it's functional, it um, cost me next to nothing to make. I used purely scrap materials that I had left over up on the shelf. 
Um, and I'm happy with it. It holds all of my hammers until I get some more. So thank you for watching and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with any of the new videos I put out. I'm going to try to put one out about, probably about once a week. I have a couple of new projects coming out throughout the weekend. I'm also going to try to squeeze a shop tour in. So until next time, thank you.